Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks. Hey y'all, I'm so so excited to get into today's video. As you guys read by the title, today we're getting into a new leave-in conditioner. And this leave-in conditioner is actually from Mayel. This is the Mango and Tulsi Botanical Blend Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner and it says that it specializes in hair and scalp care. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I gotta say, I absolutely love the packaging. It goes right along with that tropical scent there. And y'all, I am so, so excited and I'm also dripping wet. So y'all know I'm pulling out, this is the 2T towel. Um, this was actually sent to me from a subby. Shout out to her. Um, because when I tell y'all I use this thing all the time, okay, because y'all know I cannot get down with wet hair. It just, mm -mm. so I did go ahead and of course shampoo condition and deep condition. So I did use the Camille Rose, um, honey nectar treatment, um, because I did need a little bit of protein today. So I'm so, so excited to go ahead and get into this leave-in conditioner because y'all, it speaks to me. So first things first, hey, my name is Mink. I do natural hair, lifestyle, book, and beauty content. So if you're interested in any of those things, of course, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. You already know the drill. Join the Kiki Crew fam. We absolutely would love to have you. And of course, if you're new around here, go ahead and leave me a comment so that I can personally welcome you here. So y'all, this is what my hair is looking like. And after that, it, it's definitely like a lighter protein treatment. So you can't expect any crazy moisture, but the softness on my hair is absolutely chef's kiss unmatched. So this conditioner, y'all, has such a whipped consistency. I can't wait to show y'all. Um, the consistency, the smell, the amount, this is a 12 ounce container. I picked this up, y'all already know, I'm a CVS girl, so I picked this up with a CVS coupon. But even full price, it's not crazy expensive. And I will say, Mayel does have a very good um, Black Friday sale. I want to say the things are usually like $7. So let's go ahead and read up on this, and then we're going to apply. I am doing a wash and go today, and I will tell you guys um, the products that I plan on using and everything, but very excited for this. And y'all, another subby actually sent me the matching gel in this collection. Um, y'all know personally, I like to try things separately so that I can know how the products work. Um, you know, just to have, uh, bring my expectations to reality, okay? So I'm very excited to try this and then soon I will be getting into that gel. Especially now that it's hopefully going to start warming up here soon. So I will say with the packaging on here, because it's like this shiny, consist or this shiny like, I don't know container <laughs> girl I don't know um it's a little hard to read these like y'all know how we talk about as I am and they put it in like that gold font this font is very small and it's written in white and girl let me tell y'all these eyes aren't so young anymore <laughs> So let me go ahead and read this. It says our perfectly paired collection combines the king of fruits with the queen of herbs to create a nourishing botanical blend. Okay. Rich in antioxidants, vitamin A and C, the botanical girl, Mangafera and Indinka, commonly known as mango, restores and balances moisture in hair. Tulsi, known for its aromatic botanical leaves, is rich in vitamin C and zinc to maintain moisture in the scalp. Tulsi helps promote a healthier scalp and stronger looking hair. Now, I'm not going to put a leave-in conditioner on my scalp, but it is good to know that if some did get on there, child, my hair is not going to fall out. <laughs> so it does say that this is infused with mango butter and those Tulsi leaves. It restores and protects and it is good for wavy, coily, and curly hair types. The Mango and Tulsi Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner, leave Conditioner nourishes to improve the appearance of both hair and scalp. It restores moisture while reducing the appearance of breakage and frizz. It provides great detangling. Scalp maintains vital nourishment for roots. Okay. And then it says, as for directions, after conditioning, section hair into four, ply into four parts and apply leave-in, then work in your hair with a wide tooth comb. I don't plan on doing that. I'm doing a wash and go today, so I'm just going to do my normal wash and go routine. Um, it says do not rinse, style is desired, or use as a curl cream option for wash and go um, and all of that stuff. So it is, Mayel is a pretty clean brand, so it doesn't have parabens, paraffins, mineral oil, DEA, sulfates, or phthalates. 
that's interesting it doesn't say anything about silicones but i don't see any silicones on the um ingredient list so it's water ceteral alcohol propylene glycol polyquinum 37 the first several ingredients i have no idea what those are mango is definitely towards the middle of the list tulsi is definitely towards the middle of the list there's grapeseed orange sugar maple all of the things that i'm easily able to identify are in the middle of the list so but i don't see silicone on here so what i'm gonna do is is i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair it said to section it into four sections which is what i typically do anyway and then i just take subsections with my hair so what i'm gonna do is is i'm just literally going to um show y'all what my hair looks like first and foremost and then i'm just gonna go ahead and um you know section my hair i will say my hair it feels super super soft super super soft um like i said i just did a bit of protein so um it could use a little bit of moisture you know um but i think that my hair looks pretty pretty good to be honest with y'all and it feels spectacular so i'm going to go and section my hair apply my oil on my scalp because y'all know that's how i get down over here and then i will be back and we're gonna apply this mango and toasty leave-in conditioner together because i have high expectations for whatever reason okay y'all so oil is all applied and this is what the first section that i am gonna work with looks like and honestly i think that i'm just gonna split my sections in half today um not for any reason in particular child i'm just being a little bit lazy okay so I'm going to go ahead and apply the leave into this size section. So I will have eight sections total split in my um, four sections in half. And y'all, would y'all believe me if I told y'all I'm going to do a little bit of a style today with my wash and go. Y'all know I don't style my hair too often because child, I don't be liking the way it turns out. I'm actually using the Wetline Extreme Gel. I'm getting into the little one today because this is the original formula. And for me, I think that this is going to be very, very moisturizing. And it's supposed to be a little bit warmer and rainy this week. So I'm opting in for like my strong holding original formula wet line. Because child, with the gym and everything, like my hair will be gone in, in a minute. So I'm going ahead and I'm just going to do this size section. What I'm going to do for the style is, is I'm going to just like make like a little headband situation. So I will split my hair evenly down the middle and I'm just going to take little pieces and just make a little headband and I'll take a little rubber band in the back and I will secure it that way so that I have that little headband and then my hair will be out and flowing in the back. Hopefully it comes out the way I want it to child when i try new styles it never works so of course i personally like to apply my products to soaking wet hair so i have warm water in my spray bottle and i am just going to get my hair um pretty wet um if you like damp hair applying a damp hair do as you please but for me i just prefer wet hair and even if i feel like um the leave-in isn't penetrating as much as i would like it to then i'll just start to take smaller sections so we're going ahead and getting into the leave-in. I'm so, so excited. And y'all, this line smells so, so good. Ugh. It just smells tropical and fruity and just delicious. So as you guys can see, it's definitely more of a thinner but creamy, loose consistency. But it's almost like whipped. I'm really excited about the consistency. And if I'm being honest, y'all, this is the first line from Mayel recently that i have been really like okay like kind of tempted to to buy some of the things like i had to pick up this leave-in conditioner the gel was sent to me i heard the mousse is good for whatever reason the wash day products sound interesting to me so this is definitely definitely a line from my L that i'm curious about um and i don't really always feel the same way with some of the other my L lines but this one I'm definitely curious to see what it's talking about because this could easily be a good summer product line to use. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the product that is left on the cap and I have about a fingertip full. I'm going to do about two of those just to make sure that my hair is fully covered and coated and y'all see that it is creamy but it's also a lightweight cream so it's not super super heavy and we're just going to see what that feels like and definitely as i expected with the consistency it soaks in very very easy um and it spreads really really well because it has that lighter weight consistency 
I love the way this smells. Love it. It gives very much mango, very much fruity, very much tropical, very much take me to a beach immediately. <laughs> and I'm grabbing just a little bit more to get these bottom sections that especially rub on my clothes and stuff um, just to make sure that that is protected. But y'all got to say easy application, very, very easy application. It is sitting on my hair a little bit, but also as you guys can see the curls are definitely starting to get defined and i think that um if i took smaller sections it would be even more so but i gotta say i do like the way it feels so far it doesn't feel like anything um crazy it's definitely more moisture than the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner but like ever so slightly it's not weighing down my hair it's not super heavy and I gotta say, I'm not mad at the application at all. Like for this to be half of a quadrant, I see y'all. So let me do these back sections and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the front sections because y'all know the front of my hair is different anyway. All right, now y'all, I came and went all the way around my head chair. I got the back sections done, this section, and I just have one section remaining. Um, so if you aren't new around here, y'all know that I have several different textures in my hair. So the front is just looser curl and um, looser density. And my hair did dry out a good bit. I had to set up and everything chair, so my hair did dry out a good bit. And I definitely feel like this leave-in conditioner would do so much better on soaking, 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 soaking wet hair. Um, so far, so good. I definitely don't have necessarily any complaints. Um, as y'all can see, I probably should have detangled my hair a little bit better because my hair is tangled with no better. Okay. Um, now, this does claim to have a little bit of detangling properties. And I do think that it has a little bit, but it's not anything exceptional for me. So I'm going in with about this much leave-in conditioner. And again, if I need more, y'all know I'm going to go in with more. Um, but I will say I definitely like this leave-in conditioner better than the um, pomegranate and honey. I will absolutely say that. But I do think that this is still a lightweight leave-in in my opinion. I'll have to see about like the moisture and stuff. Um, but it's definitely like as far as like application and consistency, it's definitely still lightweight. I thought maybe because it was a cream, it would hold up a little differently, but, um, it's definitely still a lighter weight type of product. But, um, I love the way that it smells. I like the creamy, lightweight, lotiony type of consistency. It's definitely different than the way the, um, pomegranate and honey one has and i actually also do have the one from the rosemary and mint collection and i just haven't tried it just yet <laughs> um but as you guys can see it does take a little minute for the product to soak in um you know so i think i am going to put my cap on for maybe about five or ten minutes just to let the product really soak in and to like get the full benefits and i'm not sealing my hair with any oils like i typically would because this product claims to have so many um butters and everything in there so i just want to make sure that my um it'll hold on to the gel but i definitely think it's good so far i definitely like it better than the um, pomegranate and honey which I like the pomegranate and honey but y'all know if it came down to me choosing between that and my as I am original leave-in conditioner I would probably choose the as I am so I'm glad to have another one that I like from Mayo um, but yeah y'all so that is that I can't say it is moisturizing but it's not like over the top moisturizing I know that this collection does have a lot of products so along with this there is like a whipped cream type of leave-in situation as well I do like the leave-in it's definitely just a little um lighter weight than what I was expecting you know what I'm saying but so far I haven't had to use a whole, whole lot which is great because this is 12 ounces and I'm heavy-handed but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do this last little section up here part my hair like I said I'm doing a wash and go with wet line so maybe I'll get a couple clips of that for you guys but um I'll see y'all when, <laughs> when my hair is dry when I come back 
okay you guys so real quick because my camera's about to die but this is what the leave-in conditioner looks like sitting on my hair for i would say almost 10 minutes or so i did do the back sections first so they sunk in a little bit more but honestly it's not um sinking in as quickly as i would hope or that i really kind of thought it would especially being that it's like a lighter weight consistency um but chad we're gonna keep it pushing any old way um but i just wanted to show you guys this is what my hair is looking like after letting it sit for a bit um and i know this line does have a mousse as well so i don't know i don't know i thought it would sink in a little bit more but um we're gonna keep it pushing as for moisture again it's definitely still like a lighter weight type of moisture to me I'm kind of tempted not to use my hard holding wet line and just go in with my um, the new formula, which is like a lighter weight type of hold. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go in with the hard holding one and see what happens. But um, yeah, yeah, curl definition is definitely better in like my looser sections, which is the case with most leave-in conditioners. But chat, my camera's blinking, so I will see y'all when my hair is fully styled. Okay, you guys, so I am back, and let me tell y'all before we get into it, this is day five here. I did my hair on Sunday. Today is Thursday. So this is day five here. I've went to the gym two or three times this week, and I did just stretch it. So with all of that being said, let's get into final results. I mean, I mean, I mean, okay? And I did just... That was so rude. <laughs> I did just go ahead and re-slick down this front part just so that it looks presentable for the things that I need to film, okay? Um, but the hair, I gotta say, y'all, the hair looks good. So, y'all, I gotta tell y'all, for this to be day five hair, my hair looks absolutely in freaking sane. So, again, I did go ahead and use the Mayel Mango and Tulsi Leave-In Conditioner. And then I just went on top with the Wet Lime Extreme Gel. And honestly, this is an 8.8 ounce container. This will be going to summer gel because y'all know, yeah, old Wet Lime is that girl. Old Wet Lime is that girl. But let's go ahead and talk about this combo. So first things first, with the leave-in conditioner, I didn't have to use that much at all. And I think that I can accredit that to the, the texture of the leave-in. I'm just under the little bit of a brim. The product's white, so even if I pull it in, y'all ain't gonna be able to see it, okay? The line smells fan-freaking-tastic. Like when I tell y'all this, this leave-in just smells amazing. Um, but I will say this is definitely a lighter leave-in than what I was anticipating. So for me, I was assuming because it had that lotion-y type of consistency that it was going to be a little thicker. But honestly, it wasn't at all. And this is only the second leave-in conditioner I've tried from Myel. I've only ever tried the pomegranate and honey one, which we know is that like, I don't know even how to describe that. But if you've used it, you know. Um, but I would say that this is ever so slightly more moisturizing. So being that this is day five here, I won't say that my hair is necessarily dry, but my hair absolutely could use some moisture for sure. But I also do think that that is a part of the combination. So you guys can't really see it on camera. And honestly, sometimes even when I'm in the bathroom, I can't see it. But this combo did flake a little bit. I know, I know, I know, I know. It did flake ever so slightly. Um, I just occasionally will be in looking in a mirror or something and there's little white specks in there and I'm not really sure maybe I was just too heavy-handed with one or the other honestly I don't know but I wouldn't use the combo again actually I wouldn't use the combo again now that I'm thinking about it but it's not a bad wash and go at all um, the leave-in is definitely just a little bit light but I think that this will be perfect for the summertime and I'm so excited to try this with the matching gel. So because this is a nourishing leave-in conditioner, it's lighter weight, but the gel is also nourishing. So I'm excited to try them both together because a nourishing gel to me sounds moisturizing. 
we just got to see if it has the whole because y'all know i'm a whole girl and being that this collection is mango and tulsi it gives me summertime vibes anyway so i'm hoping that it gives me hold definition and potentially some volume but as far as the leave-in conditioner on its own i'm not mad at it y'all at all it's 12 ounces like the pomegranate and honey one as well and i gotta say i'm excited to use it up it's clean ingredients there's no parabens paraffins mineral oil dea sulfates or paraffins phthalates it's phthalates <laughs> um i also don't think that this has any um silicones in this one but this is really really good so it also claimed to have a little bit of a detangling aspect and honestly i don't know that i could really speak to that i think it's the consistency of the leave-in it just glides in your hair easier than like something thicker would but i y'all yeah. i don't know i gotta say i think this might be worth picking up and if you're not interested in like a lighter weight leave-in it um they also have like a whipped curl cream or something from this collection as well this is a, a pretty full collection so there's a whipped curl cream there's a mousse there's a gel shampoo conditioner all of the things so i don't know y'all i gotta say i'm excited to go ahead and try this and i think that i'll be pulling the gel out sooner than y'all might think like I'm, I'm thinking about putting that on my planner for the next you know two weeks from now okay because this i i don't know y'all i'm impressed like the fact that my hair looks like this and i will say i only stretched it the one time just now i stretched it um but even leaving my hair unstretched it was fine i have been to the gym two or three times this week and my hair is still holding up y'all the hair is still holding up and i will say my hair is soft i don't have any um hard hard crunch there's some areas where there's still a little bit of a cast but i don't i think it's really good y'all i gotta say i do think it's really really good so definitely chime in down below let me know if you have tried the mango and tulsi collection um and what your favorite product is if you've tried it with the, any different combos i'm really excited to go ahead and try this with some of my other myel products i have another myel gel i have mousses and stuff so i'm excited to go ahead and get some product combos with that let me know if you want to see those things but thank you guys so so much for watching this video i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next one bye